Oh my god, what is... Traditional Paldean di dishes can be extremely spicy because they include the shed front teeth of Capsicid among their ingredients. What? You're eating this thing's teeth? So when we last left our hero, we'll, we'll call it a hero. Let me just make sure that I, yeah, I healed everybody. Um, we are prepping to go to the first gym. I don't really like the graphic stuff. It's getting choppy from like a foot away. I don't play Pokemon games for the graphics. Now, I can't really fault somebody if they are unhappy with the way it looks. But people have been saying that for like the last three Pokemon games. And I'll be honest, I legitimately haven't noticed it. It's made, like, zero impact on me playing the game in any capacity. Um, it just hasn't mattered. Now, if other people feel differently, that's fine. I understand it. So I'm trying to find other actual trainers around here. You love watching our season Sword and Shield? Sword and Shield, I remember, had similar complaints when it first released, that it was super choppy and that sort of thing. Um, I haven't knock on wood haven't encountered any of the because people were talking about games crashing and losing save data and you know some rather egregious bugs and don't get me wrong if we hit one of those i will probably explode because i'll be super pissed especially if it's something relevant you know what i mean like if we squeak by a gym and then we lose uh or lose the data i mean i'll be pissed i thought there was a trainer around here but Maybe I'm imagining things. What are we... How are we doing on supplies? Oh, we need to buy supplies. We're gonna go do that. Those both look like crystals. Both over there and over here. But yeah, I haven't had any problems up to this point. I mean, maybe we're just lucky. Maybe it's certain parts of the game where there are certain things that trigger it and activate it. But I have not... Maybe that's the trainer over there I'm thinking of. I haven't encountered anything, so I don't mind it too much. Also, apparently the Scarlet Legendary you can ride can jump and it's buggy or something. You can jump on the mountains and go beyond the map. <laughs> Scarlet Havers are in a gold mine. Well, we're on Violet, so womp womp. Honestly, like, yes. Do people tend to expect more from a Pokemon game? Yes, it is a major first-party release. Like, it is a flagship product. But, and I've said this on many occasions before, I am okay with worse games that take longer to develop as long as the devs are not going through hell to produce them. You know, like, they, they get paid better, they, uh, they don't have to work as many hours, that sort of thing. That's more important. Isn't Pokemon the best-selling game company? I don't know. I mean, I don't really know the specifics of the relationship between the Pokemon company and Nintendo. Like, do they technically own them? Are they a separate thing? I also am not sure about, like, when, because I've seen something like that thrown about, Scrungle. I don't know if that is Pokemon as a whole. So we're talking, like, the plushies, the card game, the video game, the, the shows, the movies, the this, the that. Or is it just literally Pokemon the video game? And I'm not sure. Alright, so I guess we fought this guy already. I know there are other trainers out here, but I kind of don't want to like wander around creation forever. Not company, the franchise? Yes. I'm pretty sure that's the case. Back in my day, Pokemon was a fight club of weird animals. Nowadays, Pokemons are motorbikes, don't need energy from fossils. Yeah, I'll be honest with you, Akuna, I've mentioned it before. I do not like this. Now, let's be real. So, we can take a second to talk about this, and I think I'll leave it in the stream. Here's the problem. I, I feel weird about this particular Pokemon. Like, there's something about it that irks me, and I've talked about that before, but whatever. They have been pushing to come up with a new gimmick every game. Now, granted, a lot of them, like, we had the Z-moves, then we had Gigantifying, or wh whatever the hell the last one was called in the Sword and Shield. Now we have Terrestalizing, and, like, they're all just variations of the same thing. But, 
at a certain point, like there's only because I'm sure in their meetings, they have tons and tons of wild out there ideas. Because I'm sure a lot of people are like, well, why don't they just do this? That would be way more interesting. And then you what people often don't realize, and I'm not saying Chad is doing this, but the game is aimed at like six year olds. You can't make it all that complex. Like you literally cannot. And I'm confident they have a ton of stuff whiteboarded. And then somebody comes in and goes, no, 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 the hell with that. No, no. What are you thinking? Get out. No, no, no. And it's just like, no six-year-old will understand these things. And that's the thing. And, and at the end of the day, like, that's... They're right. Like, that's how it should work. <laughs> Who are these goons? Gym leader here in uh, Ortondo is the battling baker herself, Katie. Don't let her sweet looks fool you into letting down your guard. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Come to Cortondo right in the middle of our Olive Harvest Festival. The gym test here serves as part of the festival, too. Oh, I can't wait. I always hated these things, like having to do the stupid little puzzle. It's like, let me just walk in and fight people, please. Hey, Honda. Yeah, we got a surprise stream. Well, we'll be back tomorrow. We will have our regularly scheduled stream tomorrow. Oh, what a surprise. You're here. Well, yeah, I'm I'm kind of working on it. I'm working on it. I knew it. I'm so glad I asked you to do Why? Ask me to do what? Like, <laughs> where you can battle the gym leader, you got to pass certain challenge set by them. Their gym test. Every gym test is different. If you ask the lobby staff about it, they'll tell you what's up. Okay. Here, have these. When you, you use them, consider it me healing up your Pokemon. Ooh, we got some super potions. All right. All right. Sure, that's a completely reasonable reaction to have. Welcome to the gym. I register as a challenger. Yes, sure. I don't know why this is all necessary. I miss, honestly, like, they did have in red and blue. I remember vaguely some minor puzzles for the later gyms, but most of them were like, walk in, fight a gauntlet, fight the gym leader. We're done. Like, is it really necessary to do all this other stuff? Challenge a six-year-old brain? They're going to challenge my brain. I'm exhausted, chat. Like, I'm actually beat. You're at the gym, that means taking on the olive roll. The what? I love how they had, like, the anime frame cut. Like, the smash cut to the close-up of the guy's face. Like, super dramatic. Olive production is a big part of life here. We've held the Olive Harvest Festival here each year for generations to usher in bumper crops. Pass our gym test, you'll need to roll an olive-shaped ball all the way to the goal. Your efforts should help ensure we have a great olive harvest next year, too. I don't really get the correlation, but sure. By the way, only doing 100 feet with the motorbike Pokemon, you broke like 20 plus traffic laws. <laughs> hey, it's not technically a motorbike. It's technically alive. So does it really count? I guess the only thing would be maybe not wearing a helmet, which I don't know if it puts a helmet on you when you ride the bike. Staffer over at the Olive Rolling Field will explain the rules to you in further detail. I'll register the location in your map app. It's just north of... So wait, it's, the gym battle is not even in the gym. You like olives? I love olives. What is your favorite kind of olives, Scrungle? Or chat. Or YouTube, for that matter. I actually do like olives. Alright, so wait, where the hell am I supposed to go? You saw a big car Pokemon? You don't mean this, do you, Yonda? You like them best without the spite? Yeah, with, when they're not pitted, that's generally better. I would agree with that. Oh, look, a sandwich shop. And we learned what sandwiches were. What the f Not this, it's really a car? Oh, like, not... From what I was playing, you meant like earlier today you saw a picture of it or something like that. All right, here we go. Try the olive roll right here. That looks like a giant bat. Oh, I see the olive. It's back there. Okay, so we got to like push it in the basket. 
Welcome to the Olive Rolling Field. If this is a quick time event chat where I just have to like spam the buttons, I'm going to be super annoyed. This is a gym test. It's all about your stamina. You need to push with all you've got. Get a large olive roll, lo large olive ball rolling and make it all the way to the end. Get the ball over various obstacles, then push it into the goal to clear the course. Now that you've all filled in, you're ready to start the gym test? Sure. Here's the scary thing, Jab. We don't know where the gym leader's at. Put in a wish for a good olive harvest and roll, roll, roll away. As far as like levels for the gym leader. So we're going to do this. And if we have to immediately fight the gym leader, it could get messy. I wonder if we can retreat from the gym fight. Oh, shit. This is a big obstacle course. Take on the olive roll challenge. So how do we make it roll? Do I just run into it? So I, I'm just like headbutting this thing. Wait, can I get it to go? It would be funny if I could get it to go over. Wait, how do I? I'm not even sure where. It, what are you doing there? I don't want to go near the other person because I get the sense they're going to be like a goalkeeper. I didn't get a good look at the course. So this might not be the shortest path. Maybe I am supposed to go by that person. Okay, that was annoying because it just randomly bounced off of it. Chat, this is kind of silly. Alright. Do I need to... I'm going to assume I need to go to the left. Like I said, avoid the person. I don't appear to be getting timed on this, but I imagine, like, once I complete one, they're going to be like, do it ten more... What the... What just happened? You're going to be like, do it 10 more times. Just this time, you have to do it in 20 seconds. And I'll do it in 20 and a half, and I'm going to scream. You know, this might be a fun game in real life, chat. Just, like, pushing this thing. I don't know. Hooray, we got the olive in the basket. Sentences you never thought you'd say. We passed! Shocker. This wasn't exactly super difficult. With that performance, I'm sure we can look forward to a great olive harvest next year. I'm sure you say that to all the competitors. How do you declare you, your gym test officially clear? Congratulations. Please report your results to the lobby staffer at the gym. Good luck in your battle against Katie. That feels like I was just literally killing time, chat. Like, nothing happened. All right, let's 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 get on our, our way for the gym. So I have Onda running around behind me here, as you can see. Because allegedly, Onda will have hit the next evolution after a thousand steps. I forgot to change the bot, chat. I, yeah, Kratos. I, did I say Onda? I don't know why I said Onda. I don't know where Kratos went. It just disappeared, I guess, because I ran too far ahead. But yeah, I forgot to change the bot. I actually did download uh, Dead by Daylight, chat. Kratos has got to keep up. Like, I'm not waiting for you <laughs> i just wish there was an animation to know when it fell so far behind that we it's not there anymore all right i guess there is i just saw the it disappear into the pokeball there so here's the thing did she indicate anything to tell them, or just did she just send me back? I already forgot what she said because I'm so tired. But in these games, it's not uncommon to have something like that where it's like, oh, well, you're all good to go. And it's like, so I could have just lied. Welcome back. I hear you were on a roll out there. Ah, ah, ah. A big congratulations for me for successfully clearing the gym test. Now we're in the right to challenge gym leader. Best of luck. Okay, here we go. I ready to challenge the gym leader, the sugar bug. Technically, no, because I want to rearrange my team. No, ah, oh, I hit the wrong button. No, leave me alone. So, I'm going to put me up front. I am the highest level. I'm also going to be best against these types, as far as I know. Uh, Taco, unfortunately, excuse me, um, their moves kind of suck. Like, Will-O-The-Wisp is fine, uh, Ember is not very good, and we have no TMs to teach fire moves to anybody else. 
I don't think... Wait, you're rock? Oh, you're ground. I don't think ground is good against... Um... Wow, you can just forget a move now? Hmm. All right. Now that we have our team organized, let's get in there. The battle court. So typically in the other games, you would have to fight like anywhere between four and seven, I want to say, uh, other trainers before you actually get to challenge a gym leader. That seems to have been replaced with the olive rolling thing. Maybe it's because this is an early gym. I'm not sure. It is pouring out here. The Villion. I don't think that's a new Pokemon. I love how she has like the bug antenna out of her hat. I don't know if you can see that. Thank you very much for your skillful olive rolling. It was quite impressive. I forgot to introduce myself. Forgive me. Yeah, you got to do the, the villain intro. Love your Crocs. My name is Katie, and I'm the owner here at Patisserie Soapberry. I don't know if I said that right. Oh, that's right. I'm not in my shop. I'm on duty as gym leader. <laughs> yeah. Forgive me. My name is Katie, and I am the gym leader. Great. Main line of work is crafting sweets as a pastry chef. I, what's interesting is that it was implied, I think, in the early games that the gym leaders were gym leaders. That was their job. And that's, you know, it's like a thing in the town. People it would draw people in. It's tourism. And then obviously whatever the economy is related to Pokemon and blah, blah, blah. But in the last few games, it seems like a lot of the gym leaders end up having other jobs. So I don't know if it's these regions don't pay them or it doesn't pay enough. Or they're just bored, or they're that good that they need something else to entertain them. I don't know. I don't get it. Little sweets that bring happiness with just one bite. Bug-type Pokemon hiding in foliage. Both are small and yet very powerful. Sure. Don't let your guard down unless you would like to find yourself knocked off your feet. So, we'll have to see if there's a water bug in this game. <laughs> All right, Scrungle, we'll see if we can. All right, here we go. Here we go. You're challenged by Gym Leader Katie. Technically, we challenged her. All right, so that's the cricket thing. And here's my sombrero crocodile. Don't take my bug-type Pokemon lightly. You'll be in for a world of pain if you do. All right, well, let's see. Uh, we're just going to incinerate this, literally. Get wrecked, nerd. <laughs> Don't take them lightly. Get wrecked. Here's the thing. They always send out like two or three weaker Pokemon. And then their last one is suddenly like five levels higher than all the rest. Which is always infuriating. Tarantula. Get it? Ah, ah, ah. They have one more Pokemon after this. Just wait until we get to the water gym and it's going to be disastrous, chat. Hi, baby. Even the puppy's tired. She had a lot of excitement. Teddy Ursa? That's not a bug. If it's the one I'm thinking of. Isn't this just a big, normal, bear-looking Pokemon? Okay, no, it's not the one I was thinking of. I was thinking of Beware. But still... <laughs> Akune with the sharp eyes. Um, will terastalize? Wait, hold on. Am I? Yeah, I stay fire. Wow, my moves have been getting lowered because it's raining. I forgot about that. So we're going to terastalize because we might as well. We're going to go to the Pokemart, the uh, Pokemon Center after this anyway. So here's the one risky thing. This thing could have a water move.
So I guess whatever type you turn into, like they all, they don't get unique things. All right, so what type do you become? Because obviously you're terrestrializing too. Oh, what could, I wonder if this thing becomes bug. That would be super weird though. Wow, this thing, I think this becomes bug. Chat, that is super weird. Yeah, it's a bugbear. <laughs> it's way under leveled though, so we're gonna crap on it. <laughs> Thankfully, I I legitimately was concerned about coming into this fight. Okay, how many it hit five times? Get out of here. Get wrecked, nerd. Get your bugs out of here. That's actually pretty cool. I had no idea. I figured it would terrestrialize, but I thought, oh, will they randomly have something that's off type? That's pretty cool, though. I like that. Yeah, you got crapped on. Oh, my sweet little Pokemon dropping like flies. We get a lot of money for that. Sweet. And now, allegedly, we can buy super potions, which would be awesome. Your strength rose during our battle like a nice bread in the oven. Sure, that's absolutely the analogy I was thinking of. I feel that we may need to work on my own strength as well. well maybe if you're baking less and battling Pokemon more. Pass as proof of your victory against me, the gym leader, allow me to present you with this gym badge. Hope you'll enjoy it alongside a heaping serving of some of my deluxe handmade treats. So you're keeping the dentist in town. Oh, that's pretty cool that they, uh, they have a... Like, this is a cool screen. Why is she smiling? Because she's helping me along my journey. That's why. With one gym badge in your possession, Pokemon up to level 25 will be easier to catch. And we'll listen to your commands as well. I see you have quite the appetite as well. How about a little TM as the frosting on this cake? Got Pounce. That's a new move? It's not a move I recognize. Use Pouncing on target. This also lowers the target speed. That's actually pretty cool. Once you found a TM during your travels, you can then use a TM machine to make copies of that TM. I didn't know that. That's good to know. Wish you luck in your future adventures. May be sweet and as lovely as a good dessert. Off you go then until we meet again. Who's calling? Is this the weird hacker again? Speaking of hackers. Oh no, it's Nimona. Just had to tell you my Pokemon are learning some pretty cool new moves. Be ready. Had to go to the gym, by the way. Pretty rough. <laughs> yeah, pretty rough for her. Ah, got him. I mean, it was obvious you were going to pass, but congrats. I'm so glad I encouraged you to take on the gym's nice job past me. I'm training hard too, by the way, day and night, going all over the place to boot. Thank goodness we got the map app. It helps a ton with figuring out where to go next, especially in a huge place like Paldea. After all, the path to getting stronger usually has some strange stops and detours. Speaking of strange places, I wonder what Arvin's up to. Catch you later. Hope uh, I hope you know I'm going to want to battle if we run into each other. Sure. Oh, hiccups. So... We're going to go... Oh, we got to pop this thing out. Oh, no, wait, wait I got to switch these. Um, we got to do this. So we don't really have... This is very open-ended, very open world, and I'm not a huge fan of it. We got to go find one of the Poke Centers so we can go heal. And then we'll figure out what our next... Or who our next victim is going to be. I should probably talk to that guy to see if I've fought six of the trainers yet. We might have. We might have. I love our emo pig and our nerd mouse. We do have some funny Pokemon. Teal Orb. Oh, my Terra Orb. I'm too tired. I couldn't even see it. All right, so we can get better stuff now. We definitely want to buy some super potions. And we're going to pick up some great balls. So that this way... Don't need that many. This way we have... Uh, we're prepared. Oh, we got a premier ball. Sweet. Sweet. I doubt we fought six in this area, but we'll see. 
Oh, we did get all six. We have the Pokemon. Here's your lovely prize. Aerial A, sweet. Confounds target with speed, then slashes. Attack never misses. That would have actually been helpful against the gym leader as well, because bug into flying or flying into bug. So the psychic one is next. So we need stuff with dark moves, and I don't think we're there yet. We have bite on nerd mouse, and that's about it. Actually, this is the road we were heading up to when we were trying to gear up for some of these other fights. Pretty sure we fought this guy. Did we? It would appear not. Who are you and why would you have seen me around the school? Because you're one of the students, sure. Fletching. We're going to fry it. How about that? This was actually pretty significant. Pretty fortuitous. Get fried. This is their only Pokemon, so we just got to kill this thing. <laughs> there is a a not Pokemon MMO in Temtem and Coromon has so Coromon is another Pokemon game it's more but there's absolutely a more serious tone to it or at least the in-jokes are there so for example I haven't gotten this far in that game but there's a zone, because I was watching somebody else stream it, where you basically meet Hugh Hefner, the guy who founded Playboy, and go into his mansion. And there are a lot of things that are implied. You obviously don't see anything. But there are a number of things that are implied in that section. And a lot of the other jokes and things are like, yeah, there's no kid that would understand this. But if you know, you know. New kids really shaking things up. Yeah, give me that money. Give me the loot. I don't know how well that's going to do. Well, that, that actually did pretty well. I thought Rock Rough was baseline rock and ground. But it might just be normal to start. Wait, what is this? This is new, chat. I don't think I've seen this before. Caps a kid. It's not very effective, so is it ground or something? I'm a little concerned that this will one shot us, but we're going to nuzzle to to paralyze it. I mean, that's happened with some of the fights so far, Kune, where I literally did not see the Pokemon because I was on the bike. So I had literally no idea that there was a Pokemon there, and it was super weird. Because, <clears throat> like, why am I starting a fight? Oh, there was something that literally got caught under the tires. Awkward. So you're grass. You're a grass bird? I actually don't want to fight it with it. Wait, what? Will of the Wisp failed? So I'm going to try and hit it with Ember because I don't think I'll kill it, but there's a chance I do. All right, now we'll just throw a Great Ball at it. Pokemon traffic incidents without even noticing you. <laughs> You're not wrong. You're not wrong. All right, let, let's hit it with a Great Ball. I want to make sure we catch this thing because I'm very curious what the hell it is. Caps a kid was caught. And we don't have anybody on deck to name it after. We got Caps a kid seeds. Weird. Oh my god, what is... Traditional Paldean di dishes can be extremely spicy because they include the shed front teeth of Caps a kid among their ingredients. 
What? You're eating this thing's teeth? What? What? Oh my god, chat. Like, what is happening? What is happening in Pokemon? Once again, I'll bring it up. The spider that we annihilated from the boss. One foot tall, 8.8 .8 pounds. Hey, Dojo, what's good? Yeah, surprise stream. Surprise stream. So we're going to send this to a box. <laughs> what is it with you, Akune? Why do you want that? I almost should stop. Maybe I should stop doing this because I don't want it to evolve when Kratos is not here. I would love to get a... Wait. Oh, I think that's a Mankey. Oh, there's a Paldean evolution? Yeah, just look for the YouTube shorts on the channel. I mean, it's in the playthrough also, but... All right, we're going to fight this person. Uh, we probably are okay. We don't need to heal, I don't think. Um, I'm going to hold off on the Mankey unless somebody wants it. Like, if somebody puts a name in. Uh, we're we're going to try and get, like, the new, new ones if I can help it. I don't mind getting the other ones, but just so that that way we see more of the new ones. You ever seen one of those pillars of light? You can spot them even from far away. Yes, it's an enormous pillar of light. It's difficult to miss. Why do you have, like, a shield on your shoulder? Oh, you got some ghosts. We got ghosts in here. I don't remember if ghosts are completely immune to fighting. And I think this thing is probably flying or has levitate at the very least, meaning that we can't hit it with dig. What do you mean, Dojo? Whoa, what did you just do to me? I mean, we're out speeding you, so... Get wrecked. Get out of here. Oh, that's pretty interesting. Alright, maybe we'll catch one. I mean, we'll see it eventually, but I'm not going to put it on the team. That's the thing. And if I'm not going to put it on the team, then it's kind of like, is there a point? Wait, what is this? Oh, that's the elephant looking thing. <clears throat> We're going to avoid the ghastlies for the same reason. What is that? That's a rock rough. Oh, that's pretty cool. That's something I may... Oh, this feather is beautiful. It's just a regular feather and has no effect. I always wonder, is the game lying to me when it says stuff like that? I'm pretty sure this cricket thing is new, but... Early game bugs are kind of whatever. I can always come back and catch them if I... Wait, did that just disappear like booze in, in Mario? It's one of those things that if I were, I want to do end game stuff. So if it turns out that some of these Pokemon are worthwhile, we'll definitely do it. Sunny day is, I think, relevant if we go fire Pokemon. <clears throat> See, like, that's a thing that actually annoys me, Doge. I'm kind of, like, beating around the bush so that way I don't spoil people on the, um... If they watch it on YouTube and they want to figure it out. But it annoys me when there are Pokemon that there's no reasonable way to know that that is how it evolves. There's no way to know that unless you looked it up online. Because that... I guess that one you could hypothetically do, but it feels like it's way too easy to accidentally lock yourself out of it.
Why have an icon for certain items when you just have a placeholder bag? What do you mean? I'm just checking to see if there's anything down here. The hell is that? The hell are these? Chat, are these new? What are they? What the hell are they doing? What are these? Tag bulb? These are 100% going to be water, aren't they? Their heads are light bulbs? Is that actually true or are you just saying that? I'm kind of concerned that if I shock it... Oh, it's not very effective. Okay. I was a little worried that it was going to be flying or water and I was going to just fry it. Oh, I see what you're saying, Scrungle. I I get what you're saying, that they have... I wouldn't call it a placeholder, but do they... I don't know. They, it does not decrease my enjoyment of the game that they don't have a unique icon for that sort of stuff. Like, I just don't care. I'm predicting there's a pre-evo with a weird frog thing with a weird face. <laughs> Sounds like a good guess. Wait, am I completely immune? Because they're doing Thundershock. Am I completely immune to electric? We're going to try a regular Pokeball first. Basically, Paldi and Poliwhirl. That makes sense. Yeah, that, that seems reasonable. All right, we can use a regular Pokeball. I didn't have to waste a Great Ball on the other one probably either, but I didn't want to whiff. So let's see what the insane Pokedex entry is this time. Wait, we picked up some, some Tadbulb Snot. Literally Tadbulb Mucus. Why? <laughs> Tell me this thing... All right, hold on. We'll read the Pokedex entry first. It floats using the electricity stored in its body. When thunderclouds are around, Tadbulb will float higher off the ground. Tell me this thing doesn't look like a little kid drew a face on a balloon. Tell me I'm wrong. The Ella Tadpole Pokemon. Sure. No, you're, you're absolutely going in a box. Once we find the renamer guy, chat, if there are ones that are in boxes that people really want to be, we can pull them out. You know, we probably should encounter a Mankey anyway just to get the Pokedex entry, so that way if I fight it later on, I can, uh, I know what I'm fighting. I'm glad that the other Pokemon just, you know, they're just going to hang out and watch. No, I have not, Dogewall. <laughs> I think I'd remember, I absolutely would remember that Pokemon if I saw it, and I have not seen it yet. All right, we got the Paralyze. <clears throat> we'll catch the Mankey. I know we were saying we're going to avoid stuff, but Chad is pointing out that this has a unique Evo. Spoilers, sorry, but we mentioned it earlier. Hey, we got to level up for Kratos. Going to lose, use that. Learn Bite. That's actually relevant for the next gym. Because unless they change it, Dark is really good against... Um, Dark is good against Psychic. We'll get rid of Arm Thrust. I don't like these multi-hit ones where there's a chance where it doesn't hit the maximum or whatever. I, I don't know. I just don't like leaving things up to chance. Oh, so the coins are for Gimme Ghoul Chess. Okay. That's good to know. Mankey is extremely quick to anchor. 
Anchor? Anger. It could be docile one moment, then thrashing away the next instant.